Welcome back to Jank Bank. That is right, the triumphant return of my sixth most popular series. But this time, Jank Bank is returning with a twist. Instead of you just sending me your bad brews, they are going to be following a theme announced on my Twitter a couple of days before we record the episode. This week's theme is decks with a 100% tier limit win rate. All right, don't get used to this, but this week in particular, I asked for your decks in Master Duel because I think it's the platform where we have a 100% chance of queuing into tier limit. Let's see what you all came up with. This one looks good. What do you think about this one? <laughs> this is, uh... This is, this is about what I expected, yeah. All right, looks good to me. Let's jump into ranked and see how it does. All right, so step one for a deck like this is you uh, actually lose the game if you do not win the die roll. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do a little uh, winning the die roll, if you know what I'm saying. Click uh, going first here and uh, let's just make it happen, Captain. It's as simple as that. Looks good to me, fellas. Let's see if we can bait out like an Ash Blossom. Got him. Ooh, we're already banging, buddy. Boom! See ya! <laughs> Next turn, baby! <laughs> Damn, this deck is just too good! Alright, what's what's next? What's next? Now, they gotta be on tier limit is the problem. They're thinking. They're racking their brain. What the heck? How do I play under a card this powerful? Oh my god! off come on <laughs> it said oh you thought you were the monkey deck wait you can't even activate invocation under necro valley it doesn't do anything give me a royal tribute let me end this Ooh, not a bad rip not a bad rip whatsoever let's lead with commandant though oh we're just, you know, we're prepping for next turn. We I, we were testing for Ash. It's Witchcrafter. Okay, I think actually Necro Valley solos this deck. This deck is a bit too complicated for MPT. Shut the f*** up! Shut up! Oh, yeah. Yeah, shuffle that guy back into your deck, dumbass. Go, try again. Uh, Witchcrafter can out the valley pretty easily. Did I ask you anything? I don't recall... All right, we lose. If they make a uh, Hain here, we literally cannot win. Come on, just one time go for Vare. I have faith that invoked players don't know how to play anything but Solitaire. Shit, all right, we lose. It's okay, we'll go next, we'll go next. It wasn't tier limit, that was the problem. All right, now we lose. This hand is so good. Okay, wait, this hand actually still might beat tier. If we can go maxi, forcing them to wait. Can I play a goddamn? This hand is literally 100% FTK if I win the die roll. A 100% FTK if I win the die roll. And it may be still. One time tier limit that just kind of bricked a little. Is everyone in this dumpster elo playing a deck that beats tier and no one's playing tier quantum star says here's my magnum opus weather painter ishizu mudora can send gravekeeper's trap and lets you start your combos because it searches the weather painter snow which is an earth fairy oh yeah we could try this out all right, this one's kind of interesting. I'm unironically a little excited to play it. I hope it does better than Gravekeepers did. Looks good already. All right, uh, this is a pretty mid opener, but uh, could change. You know, all we need to find is something relevant. This is interesting because if it's tier, we probably do win. How did we link off my Alistair under DiFi? Uh-huh. Would you like to activate invocation now? What's going on? The game's bugged. Oh my God. Or we might just get away with it. Oh boy. This is not good. Oh, we can't send Gravekeeper's Trap, which I want to, which means we can't lock them under DiFi. But I think it's good enough to just go Thundry send DiFi here. 
We are still under shifter. Right. Learning much today. That's fine. This Gravekeeper's Trap is about to go a little brazy. Sure. Why well, set it? It's so over. It's not over at all, baby! Time to add an Earth Fairy from the deck to the hand. Well, they gotta be bricking on something. Wouldn't be surprised to see an Ash here. That's fine. We'll try it again on our turn. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna need that in this matchup. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I will. Thank you. Oh, and now we get to play the game! Nice columns. Nice columns indeed. Watch this, asshole. I don't think I even want to go to battle. I feel like there could very easily be a, another evenly matched in my future. Can I stop that at all? Not really. Let's try it. Yeah, fuck it. There's no way they have the second evenly matched in their 48 card deck. Thank you. All right. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we trying to get in the graveyard here? So we've seen Alistair the Invoker. Let's go Magical Meltdown. One time. Oh, Fallen of Albaz. Okay. God. I really did not understand how much Gravekeeper's Trap does for this deck in particular. You're always adding cards to your hand with Weathery Snowy Canvas. They can always just pivot into additional copies of Snow or Shufflers if you have everything you need. Raigeki. Oh, son of a bitch. Not Raigeki. See ya. Now, who are we grabbing? It's got to be Cloudy. If you can normal summon Cloudy in a board state like this, you just win. Surely we don't get OTK'd? Well, it hasn't happened yet. Was Albaz the missing piece of the pie? Apparently. Apparently it was. Invocation using the Albaz in hand and what? Oh, DMG. What are what the fuck are we making? Oh, Lubellion. Right, th that's how you make Lubellion. We've all been there. Lubellion make Mirror Jade. We've all been pitch dark magic attack to make Mirror Jade. We've all been there. Oh shit, we actually lose here, don't we? Cuz they go normal Alistair afterwards. Oh shit, we we are dead. Oh fuck. What the hell was that? What did they grab with Alistair Macaba? We are still kind of boned here, I feel like. They just had this the whole time and they were chilling. Oh, cool. They're not going to normal Alistair. They said, I don't need to normal Alistair. Oh, are we... Oh, are we going to pitch Alistair to deal four? Is that what we're doing? Okay, thank God. I was going to say. This one's weird. I'd really like to make... Uh, that's, a, that's a really good draw. Now out Mirror Jade. I mean... Outing Mirror Jade from this position is going to be comically easy. Uh, I can actually still do everything I want if I normal the snow. Mirror Jade floats? Not that I'm aware of. If this fusion summon card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls at the end of the turn. That's so strange because uh, the issue with that effect is that I'm not going to be able to read it if he goes to a hidden information zone. Hmm. Let's see if we're allowed to make that happen. Don't let me get to damage, dude. Don't let me get to damage, dude. Come on. Screwed this up just a little bit. I think I was supposed to use the extra normal for this so I can use my normal normal to make Mudora live and then shuffle back a card that they theoretically send off Mirror Jade. Or they will not activate Mirror Jade and I don't have to worry about it at all. Bye-bye. We're in damage. Theoretically, they could Alistair the Invoker here. Okay, they have elected not to. Don't you just make rainbow now? Yeah, the game is over. This is so broken. I don't know why you're allowed to do this shit. Uh, I guess we kind of fucked up a little bit here insofar as we could have used rainbow canvas 2 plus while they just had Lubellion up. Uh, but I, I'm not pressed about it. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm all in on magical melt. Uh, actually, branded fusion. I feel like Branded Fusion is what we got to worry about. Evenly? We can out evenly. I mean, we can out everything at this point. We are negating that. 
Mm -mm. That's the thing about a Weathery Painter is when it gets to this position, it really cannot lose. Whoa. All right, please let me Zolga you. I know it's like BM. Please let me Zolga you one time. No! <laughs> okay. That was nice. This deck's fun. <laughs> I like this one a lot. All right, last list. Uh, Ishizu Vernasilf Madolce. Uh, this one I've actually been kind of itching to try out. Uh, this is one of those decks that was powerful for a very short period of time, almost exclusively because of Tier Lament. Um, it's got a pretty good tier matchup and a pretty bad matchup versus everything else. Given our luck so far, I'm not super confident, um, but as you can see, it's playing a lot of the new cards from the new set, um, plus, you know, what you would expect, shufflers and... Uh, Dimension Shifter. All right, we gave this deck a little love. Let's see if it can hang with the big boys. All right, Alejo is definitely a tier limit player. They are in win and you'll gain a rank territory. And as we've seen today, you got to be pretty good to be winning in plat five. So um, they got to be playing tier. I just, I know it in my soul. Hands amazing, hands incredible. It is full combo, kinda. Okay, we'll lead Angeli. Angeli effect. Hoot cake. We'll grab Messengelada. Now we go Salon. She will grab us Potetting Sister. Sistard Glass Souffle. Is that enough? That's probably fine against Tear. All right. And then we go Chateau. Uh, we're going to trigger shit here. They go back. We trigger Salon, and we grab... I kind of want to grab Ticket. Do you think it's right to grab Ticket? Uh, no, because we don't really have a Medulce in rotation. Let's just get Promenade. Uh, okay, um, we can also go Potetting Sister so we can put her back for Promenade. Let's do that. I mean, okay, this looks really terrible, but I promise you it's good. <laughs> And it begins with a draw phase maxi, folks. So, Medolce Teacher Glass Souffle is a mechanism by which we can put our opponent's monsters from the graveyard back into the deck. Promenade is a negate. All these cards are extremely sticky, hard to get rid of, and they'll have to operate under maxi the entire time. Like, I'm feeling pretty good about this. They're thinking. They are thinking. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, my God. They ain't reading. They ain't reading shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think we lose Promenade here. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I want to go home now. <laughs> Not the fucking Adamancipator Lapazugaluga. Come on. What do they attack? Gotta be Potetting Sister. None of these other monsters can be killed. Or, or I'm just not reading. Or I'm just not reading, buddy. Hyo, hyo. <laughs> we just ain't reading. Oh, wait, I'm not reading. Why couldn't I do that? From your graveyard. We don't have any in the graveyard. It's okay. It's all part of the plan. This is about to be the craziest Tierra Masu of all time. How the fuck is he ranking up? I'm going to give you a little bit of insight, chat. This man is not about to rank up. You will not find this man ranking up. It ain't happening. Clip it. Clip it all you want. It's not happening. All right, show me the earth monster. You dingle dork. Oh, so we had Roxy's, and you elected to normal summon Koakai Mairu Guardian. I just want to make sure I have that right. Thank the fucking... That actually doesn't do anything. Boom. Tiramisu effect. Uh, one, two. Oh, no. I forgot about their on-field Koakai Mairu Guardian. They're, look, they're still going to do it. Watch. All right. My Glass Souffle has another effect. And our payoff for all of that. Are you ready? We get to shuffle back the fucking field spell. Give me that guy back. Yeah, I guess so, right? One, two. Ceylon for ticket. 
we should ha we have to be able to win from this position, right? I haven't figured out how yet. <laughs> we'll just grab who kick. It's all part of the plan. Uh, this is how much? It's like a million billion damage. Let's make it even more. Time to use this effect. Are we actually a hundred off? I'm so mad. It's it's legitimately a hundred off lethal. So for that reason, I'm not gonna make both Ala mode, but let's just go battle. This deck is too hard. Just make a big ass Zeus, huh? You missed lethal. Yeah, thanks chat. It's okay, this guy is bricking on two other copies of the field spell. He's not though, right? We know he's not because <laughs> he's, he's clearly got crazy shit in his hand. Um, hmm. That's fine. Pitch Roxies. That's okay. Why, why not just summon the Roxies? All right. We probably sadly have to Divine Arsenal here. I don't like to do it, but I think we do actually have to Zeus. Man, this board is so crazy, though. All right. Here, hold up. We go Glass Souffle. Target itself. Trigger Glass Souffle. One, two... To use Chateau, Resolution, Mandatory. Oh, cool. Uh, ticket one, Salon two. Rip. Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> Yo! Ah, uh, that's a block dragon, baby. <laughs> uh, now we win. <laughs> wow, it turns out shuffling back that other earth monster was game determinative. <laughs> Let's just keep it simple and do a 65 second combo. I don't know. I feel confident saying that those three decks had a 100% tier matchup. I mean, we didn't lose the tier once. <laughs> Where the fuck are all the tier limit players? <laughs>